Good morning and welcome to the Greece Pro Vlog. I'm lost with what even event I'm at right now. It's like the fifth event in a week. We are at the airport, it's 4 a.m. Flown through check-in, flown through security. Let's buy some expensive water. Go take a check -in. We have a four hour direct flight to Kalamata Airport. 45 minutes to the lake from then. We are skiing later on today. This is gonna be a pretty sick event. I have no idea what the hell is going on. Literally have nothing booked. They have organized absolutely everything for everyone. Apartments, hotels. I don't even know where I'm staying. I know that I'm skiing at eight o'clock tomorrow and we're going to see waterfalls on Friday. So I'm mega excited for this vlog. And we will get in the air. Flying the jet too, so I'm pretty sure I may as well be sat on a ball on the floor for four hours. So I'm sure I'm gonna feel fantastic after that. Yeah. How long this has been going around this conveyor belt? The vrai, dans les débuts, c'est l'envie d'obi. On se promet tout et ça pour la vie. Les mots les plus doux, les projets d'avenir. Romance petit déj au réveil dans le lit. Très attentionné, attentionné. Au flair d'une grossesse, dans la tête ça chauffe sans cesse. Rate your dinner from, from 1 to 10. 12. So much food, and I love food, and I can eat a lot of it, and so much food. I will be heavy after it this weekend. It was so delicious, and so many new things. Eggplant's actually good. <laughs> What's the plan? What are we doing? We're going to some waterfalls. Woohoo! How long have we got on this road, John? I don't really know. It's in Greek. So as Jamie said, we are going waterfall hunting today, trying to find some caves. All the amateurs are doing their rounds today. So we had a beautiful, beautiful hour long drive to go look for some waterfalls. The walk to find the falls is about 10 minutes apparently, even though I was not wearing even remotely the correct shoes. But we made it, we survived through, I didn't drop the camera once, and we managed to see some beautiful views through the Greek forest. It's so pretty. How's the temperature? It's a little cold. Woo! <laughs> ah! oh. Alright, we got lost. Apparently that wasn't the waterfall. And we're now using a guide to take us to the proper waterfall. Who knows? I think it's a pretty cool waterfall. Seems to be running away. I don't know. Apparently that's where we're going down there. This is how we die. Nearly died. We died having fun. So I feel like we need a little bit of backstory as to why we're all a little bit scared. The guide ended up charging a ton of money, then only dropped it to like three euros a person. But the main problem was along the way, you were saying you're going to have to leave your backpacks on the side. And he stayed behind. It was all a bit scary, but everything was fine. The guy was awesome. And these waterfalls here were beautiful. The force on your back was insane. And we had a blast. We're so glad we did it. Got a magnet. How's your Greek alley? Not yeah, good. I are. tried to order four waters oh, no, and I got, got four else. hot dogs. We have wine. Mm. No. <laughs> no wine. No wine. No wine. Okay. Why won't you do? I mean, that looks totally safe wine. Very to hot dog one to buy. I'm giving it like a two. When you got four of them. I could be a little bit dramatic, but this is literally the best ice cream I have ever had in my life. Don't know what it is, but it's going down right now. Good morning and welcome to the Kaifers Pro 
battle. So now we're at the lake. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. Like all lakes, that's why every single European trip we've been here. The water is so warm. The sea is, whoa. The sea is literally five minutes across the road and the lake is so hot. A little bit brackish, which is kind of interesting, but it skis super, super nice. So the girls are out there right now, then I'm up. I'm like 15th, 16th of the day. So um, yeah, wind is flat right now, but windy outside the lake. So if that changes direction, it's gonna be a little bit rough. We will find out as the day goes on. It's like warm over here. How'd you feel? Pretty good. <laughs> I'll say nine. Three nine was really good. Oh, you just gave us a compliment. No money skiing, happy? Yeah, happy. Um, yeah. That's the words we got. Said today. I challenge anyone to be able to run a 39 as clean as her. You said that. <laughs> what are we doing? We are going to ski. There's like seven till me. I don't know what the top score is right now. I don't know. I know someone got five at 39. So we're going down there. Quite live down there. But we're ready to party. <laughs> Round one. Let's do it. See what he can do with the right start. Round number one. He's got the start. Round number two. He's gone it better. I was pretty good and pretty bad at the same time. It's so loud. I thought I went inside 439. It was a little sketchy, but we were good. Yeah, 341 first round. Exactly what I said I wanted to do and I did it. So round two. All go right, you please. Let's see. One, one at nine, seven, five. I needed that. <laughs> oh, I need that. Congrats, man. Oh, what do you think of that? What do I think of that? The guy just explode whatever he had, 975 here in Kayafas. We've been expecting this 25 years. 25 years and now we lost our game. This is George Sandlight. I don't know his name, but if anybody has watched Madagascar and you know the lemur that is the king of the lemur group, this is George. George is the king lemur. The first one to do 975. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh, we're falling. I'm on cloud nine. Holy cow. I almost didn't ski. Like, what the hell? What was happening on the bank before you went out? All of a sudden, I was like, I don't feel good. I think I got a little overheated, and I was like, all right, sit in the shade, drink some water, and I was like, nope, that's not gonna work. Nope. And I was like, mm. So I walked up the hill. I didn't actually get sick, but I felt like I was probably going to. And uh, Will brought me a big bag of ice. We went and sat in the car, pumped some AC, put the ice on the neck, cooled off, and went and skied. There you are. Well, that was some awesome skiing, and we cannot wait to watch you in round three. Into the fact that this is going to be a long vlog. The whole team is skiing absolutely insane. I mean, 241 for the women is just mad. Ali's first ever one. I mean, the scores are just mad. Will's probably first 41 of the season. I got a 3 at 41. John's a 2.5 at 41. This is an event. Um, the skiing is beautiful. The atmosphere is amazing. And yeah, we're halfway through round two and it's crazy, so excited to show you guys this whole event. Music is starting to do my nut in. It's so much it's fun, it's energy, but ooh, as you can probably tell from this vlog, it's the same beat the whole way through. But we are up, there's three people till me. Nothing has surpassed three at 41, so I'm still in the same place that I was tied fifth, but the conditions yesterday are meant to be perfect. It's a little windy right now, um, which I think is making people struggle on the Tailwind 39. Hopefully with that three, it's gonna be safe, but tomorrow could make it a mess. All right, we are up. There's been no more threes. Brando got a two again. So it scores are exactly the same as they were last time. It is windy as hell out there. So Tailwind 39 is the goal and the challenge of today. So let's go. Bring in something more substantial this time around. He's into the headwind, but into the sun as well. Oh, good one ball. Oh, pretty oh, good Oh, round too. number two, he's there. Come on, keep he's going, there, bro. keep going. He's going for he's a there. He's there. He's in there. Come on. Oh. I turned four ball, finally. It is so windy. I fumbled the handle at four ball. Otherwise, I think I'd have had it, but I was just like praying hope that whole 41. I came out of three like, oh my God, you gotta go. And everything was there for me, so just a happy guy. Good morning and welcome to finals day. It is a beautiful day. It's like 25, 30 degrees, so it's a little toasty, but conditions are looking much, much better this round. Only thing that's really changed from yesterday is seeding. I have ended up in fifth because I chose not to ski this morning. 
because I'm a little bit sore, a little bit tired. It's been a very long trip. So I thought that being fresh was more important than maybe a seeding. Tigas went out, got the seeding. He got four at 41, which is insane. So it ends up with Freddy, Nate, Will, Tigas, me, and then John squeaked in there last in eighth. And Sasha, I believe, is in sixth or seventh. We have a lot of syndicates in the final. It's going to be a good day. Now we are going to head to the boat parade. This one is going to be a party. <laughs> Now we are ready. Thomas asked in five minutes. What do you think of the opening ceremony in your model walk? A little uncomfortable? A little uncomfortable. I tried so hard to be serious, like they asked me to. <laughs> and my direct view was John laughing at me. So it was a bit tough, but it was super fun. Now we have the finals. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to film too much behind the scenes because I got a ski in it. Also, a third of the finalists are syndicates, so I can't follow everyone. Otherwise, we would be here all day. But we'll let you know what they do. Let's go ski. <laughs> We were dancing. I know. Do it again, Ash. Good luck, smash it. Thank you. Οι άλλοι είχαν εξίας, θα πρέπει να μας αποκαιρεί πίση και να κάτσει στον θρόνο η Μανόν Κωστάρ, τα κόρυνα από τα γλύκρια. Four and a quarter buoy is needed to take the win here at Kayafas. Round number one gets good, gets good balance. Round number two. Look at her go round buoy number three. Can't afford to make too many more of those errors. She gets round number four and a piece of five will seal the deal for Jamie Ball. There you go. There's your champion for the second consecutive year. It is Jamie Ball. What do you think of this, John? <laughs> that is the loudest start dog and area I've ever been on. Jamie Bull taking the win with five and a half, 39 at no something. Ali Nicholson in second with four at 39. Insane skin from the two girls. That is another one, two. And now it's my turn. The one thing you gotta have here is energy. And it's easy to have. Really, really, really hot. But this is such a cool experience. Look at all the people. <laughs> Leading score is three. Let's see Leading what Rob can do. Let's see what he's got. Round number one. Falls in a little bit on Bowie number one. He's still there on Strong number two. two. Strong number two. He's round number three. He will get to the wakes and he will take the lead at this time because he has a superior backup. <laughs> Congratulations, Rob. Good skiing. Thank you. Tying the lead. So now we have two sitting here. Do you think it'll be enough? No. It's beautiful out there. Beautiful. I just messed up my one ball and then it was all it was all a little messy after one ball, but it's amazing out there. If a 41 doesn't go down here today, I'm disappointed. Well, three of them went down yesterday. I wouldn't be surprised if we see one or more go down today. So I get to sit with you guys a little longer. The couch getting busy there, Tony. Thomas, Rob, Sasha, all there with three. I think Will will be the determining skier here. Here Turns he is, one round ball. one. He's round number two. He's early enough to make a play on two. He's round number three. Uh, oh, and he stalls up. Top three guys now being joined by Will. Four-way tie at three at 10-2 with Nate on the water and Freddie left on the dock. This is Nate Smith and gets the one to the wakes and uh, he takes the lead with that. Okay. Uh, they just jumped in. And uh, Jamie Ball! Yeah. Jamie, you've got two microphones. It's for you. For a first spot. Right, here's a word! 
That brings an end to the Kafers Battle Pro-Am. Without doubt, one of the most intense tournaments, party, music, everything that I have ever been to and probably one of the funnest I've been involved in. Just an insane effort from the organizers to put on a show for both spectators and skiers and just generally give us an amazing week. I've been here since Wednesday, obviously, and it's been a fantastic four days, just amazing food and what an amazing place Greece is. Next, we move on to San Giovasio. That one I'm looking forward to. We're doing some touristing. That's gonna be a great vlog and I'm excited to show you guys the north of Italy. We're going to Thomas de Gaspar's Lake for two days. We're gonna do some touristing around Nonna Town hopefully gonna eat some good pasta and pizza. Very, very much looking forward to that. It is the last event of Europe and we are gonna hopefully go smash it. Thank you so much you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.